No, no, no. No, no you're that, different. Listen, we're Chris, going in you're, circles. You're telling I'm saying me. you should be able to see all the ballots. 100%. You're entitled to it under law. It's a good law. You should do it. Here's the problem. One, you can't say fraud when you don't know there is. Look at it, and then we'll all be here. I to haven't said on. fraud. Well, but the, the governor has, uh, listen, the listen. senator has, the president has. That's why I'm raising it. But here's the other thing. You guys don't have clean hands. You're a Florida congressman. You're on the federal level. I give you a pass. Scott, no pass. This woman who you just sued today, Scott sued, who's a Democrat in Broward County, she was asked to do the job by Governor Bush. She's been there 15 years. Eight of them were underneath Scott. He did nothing. The Secretary of State is a Republican. He did nothing. So it's your state. You keep having problems. Make the fixes. You've done nothing. I don't keep care having the same the problems. I well, that is a fair criticism of those counties, but it is it is totally unfair of you to to paint all of Florida with the same brush because in 65 of our 67 counties, including our most populated county, Miami Dade, everybody did everything right. So this isn't a Florida problem. This is a Broward County problem. And everybody and I don't care did if she's not do everything Jeb Bush right. Or the Pope of Everybody Rome. Everybody did not right. do everything right. There were reports what of trouble Republicans up and down up? both coasts. Look at the governor's race. Okay. Oh, Look really? at this race. You've really? got trouble what, down there with the, how you do your elections. What was the allegation of trouble? Okay, what, what's, then evidence that claim, Chris. You tell me what the problem was on the other coast. Where on the Gulf Coast was there a single problem with reporting ballots and complying with court orders? Take the, all the time you need. The, no, there are reports about people, how they match the signatures, that county by county the standards are different, where some people went to some lines, they weren't able to get in for a certain... I mean, there's always What complaints. county did that happen? Give there me a county. Complaints. Give me a county. There's a whole lawsuit. Give me one county. There's a whole think... lawsuit from Senator Nelson Chris, about exactly name the this. county. You can't... E- it is so irresponsible of you to say that no, there are problems on, on. throughout There's Florida a when those problems right are isolated to two counties. Not on Nelson's, Wait, where? Not where on are Nelson's you Nelson. Go look at the pleadings. I'm not bringing the lawsuit. No, Nelson, Senator Nelson, N- is, Nelson is Yes, Senator Nelson is, is bringing litigation so that he can effectuate a hand recount everywhere. And let me be clear. Oh, I so he, no has, he has an the ulterior recounts. motive. Your guys are uh, pleading no fraud when they have no proof of it, but that's okay. They're hiding the proof. They're playing hide the ball with the freaking ballot. So how are we supposed to prove the fraud when they're not allowing us to go behind and have access to the ballot? But how can you say there's fraud when you haven't seen the ballot? When a judge tells them they have to show they it should to us have by seven to o'clock, they, they should have showed them. They to tell you. us to come back at ten Shame on the next them. morning. Shame it's on ridiculous. them. Shame well, on them. And it's not. And, Good, but that, but don't pass that same shame on every other county in Florida where there's no evidence of wrongdoing. Even if Nelson's filed a lawsuit, Look, you are asking are for it both ways. That's Matt. not proof. You're asking for it both ways. You're saying we think there was no. fraud and we'll be able to prove it. We get to the, see these things we've never seen. Nelson says, I have proof that people weren't able to verify their ballots through signatures in a fair process. That it was different in different counties and it worked to That's my an disadvantage. Allegation. We well, have so a is yours. Order. They allegation. have an allegation. That's all you have, too. False. We have a judge. We have a judge who said you violated the constitutional rights of Florida. Did that judge? That's no, 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 have. no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on. The judge said that not giving the information over violated the Correct. law and one of the clauses in the Constitution. That's about the Constitution. transparency, not fraud Correct. in the counting, not fake, not cheating. The judge but said a lack of none transparency of that. That's an allegation. Ecosystem for fraud. Yeah, you're right. Ecosystem for fraud. Again, if you're worried about the ecosystem, don't deal with your brown tide that you have down there. No, this isn't about an ecosystem. This is about a process that that doesn't work well enough, Congressman. And I agree with you about it. It works well in 65 of 67 counties. That's not what Senator Nelson says. He says the provisional ballots were a problem. Yeah, but he hasn't proven anything. I know that's the point of the lawsuit. Neither have you. No, but you yourself agree, Chris, that at this stage of the game, we ought to know how many people voted. So that's a mistake. I do, actually. We're doing some research on this. I think the way your state works, tell me if I'm wrong, or we'll check with the Secretary of State. It's not really material to our conversation. Some of the states, you have to have your absentee ballots. What is material to our conversation? No, no, I'm saying this. You have to have all that information posted. Yeah, no, no, 100%. Look, the transparency is a no-brainer. You're never going to have a journalist argue against transparency. You know, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm saying in some right, states, but you're saying that even when people frustrate my act, my transparency, that then we should just assume that they're doing everything else right, and we should not assume that no, there's you don't, any you shenanigans can assume whatever going you on want. behind I'm the curtain. You that's can't, crazy. You can't charge fraud if you can't prove it, Matt. That's what I'm saying. Wait for the proof. But I Analyze can't prove the it if they don't let me behind the curtain. I know, but that's I, I, not the look, same I thing. I sincerely okay. hope we get a chance to do that at 10 a.m. tomorrow. 100%. I hope we get a chance. To and analyze if you don't, you let me know, and I'll report on it again.
I'll report on it again. All right. But all I'm saying is this. There are games going on on both sides. It's regrettable because it's going to undermine confidence in the election. That's the last thing we need right now. All I was saying is you said we should know by now how many ballots. In your state, the absentee ballots had to be received already. Some, they have to be stamped by Election Day. In your state, we believe that that's only true about military and ballots from outside the country. So you can make the argument that you should have all the ballots in place, but not having them counted. I mean, you have until the 18th to have the full record of the vote no, I, I, for a reason. Right, right, right. But and your that, Secretary of right, State is a Republican. Us, that should give you some comfort. It's but, your guy. Well, well, they ought to come in and take over the over the election. But but the judge said that we're entitled to know how many ballots yes. are left to be counted. Yes. And that that that's something we still don't know. Yes. And, and that's, that's wrong. An, that's not an allegation. That's no, an it actual isn't. violation. But saying that of there the was law. fraud is an allegation. And that's only happening here. But saying that there's fraud is an allegation. Cor- correct. No, I, I have. Let me be very clear. I'm not alleging that there is certain to be fraud. Scott I'm is just saying like when you have. When you have fraud, you also have the lack of transparency. So let's lift the veil. Let's let Republicans and Democrats yes. see the information. Let's include the media. Yes. Let's turn all the cards face up. Yes. What I'm uncomfortable with is the violation of court orders. And look, you know, if if uh, it turns out that Governor Scott didn't win the election, I'll be the first one to say that he didn't. But look, I mean, you are not allowed to just like will 80,000 ballots into existence with no chain of custody. But we don't know that happened. No reconciliation. We don't know that the happened. Pro- no, they, they have to yeah, count Yeah, but we've asked for the chain vote. of custody documents and they haven't given them to us. They ha- and, I agree. And we have to count. And that's no one's arguing count against every vote. But that's going to be a problem no for you mm-hmm. on the other side because Nelson's going to make a case about the provisional ballots. We have to see how that plays out as well because that falls under the category of counting all ballots we should count those. as well. So we'll see. And we should absolutely. All right, I agree Congressman, with that. keep me in the loop. I mean it. The transparency matters. Forget Thanks, about Chris. red or blue. It's about being reasonable. All right? Supervisor of corruption! 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 So who is Brenda Snipes and why is she provoking such a strong reaction? Why does she still have a job? Lisa Booth is a senior fellow at the Independent Women's Voice. She joins us right now from Undisclosed Location. I just saw you, Lisa. Why aren't you in studio? <laughs> I'm in D.C. visiting family. All right. You're supposed so. to check in with me with that. So, Lisa, <laughs> I'm who, sorry, I'm who, sorry. who is this woman? Well, to your former guest comment, she was appointed by Jeb Bush in 2003, but she is a Democrat, and she has been elected ever since to the position of the supervisor of elections for Broward County. Now, Broward County is the second most populous county in the state. It is also the most Democrat as well. And it's not just Republicans who have been critical of her either. The Miami Herald called Broward County the most controversial department of elections in Florida. So she's also received wide criticism um, from all around, really dating back to even 2004, where she failed to send out, I think it was something like uh, over 50,000 absentee ballots from individuals who had requested them. But also just look at what happened in this year alone. A judge just ruled that she was in violation of public record laws from Florida for not fulfilling Rick Scott's campaign's request. You also go back to May and a federal judge found that she was in violation of both state and federal law for illegally destroying ballots in regard to a 2016 primary between Debbie Wasserman Schultz uh, and a Bernie Sanders uh, guy. Who sued? And mind you, the destroying of these ballots happened in the midst of a lawsuit she was facing uh, regarding public uh, records request uh, regarding those ballots. So that's kind of sketchy. And then you also go back to August, and a judge ruled in flavor, favor of the Florida GOP that she was privately looking at um, absentee ballots so that they couldn't be contested or looked at by other people. A judge ruled in favor of um, the Florida GOP. Regarding that, she's also gotten in trouble for releasing uh, voting information 30 minutes prior to the, the closing um, of the polls. And that was and 2016. 2016. When that was actually the um, same primary where she got in trouble for destroying the ballots right. with Debbie Wasserman Schultz. So she, there's been a whole, you know, a whole thing, even right. dating back to 2004, that she has received criticism over. And it's not yeah. just from Republicans. Lisa, not only is she doing a bad job. Almost anybody else in the state could be doing a better job. So I, so I asked the governor's uh, office, I said, why isn't she fired? And they said it's a lot harder to fire somebody if they're elected. So there's, it's much more complicated than, let's say, you or I. We can get fired right away, you know. But not, I guess it's a little different there. Bottom line is, she, that's where the focus is. It's an extremely blue area. You cannot blame the Scott camp for being worried. Well, Final he- thought? 
Well, he could have removed her for incompetence. There's precedent for that. The person that was in that job before her was removed for that very reason. My understanding is that's not really the approach of the, you know, Rick Scott uh, administration. Uh, but I, I think it's very clear she's incompetent, and there's a lot of questions regarding what she's doing in Broward, in Broward County.